So this is the solution key for the integration and accumulation study guide. Our first problem, we see that we're given the flow of oil in barrels per hour. So this is a rate that's given to us. In other words, it's a derivative. Through a pipeline on July 9th is given by the graph shown above of the following, which best approximates, and here's the key word, the total number of barrels of oil that pass through the pipeline that day. So we are given the rate but we want the total, which means we need to find the area under the curve. All right, so we see that our units for each grid horizontally are six and vertically are 100. So each one of these blocks is about 600 barrels. So we've got one, two, three, four, and then up here we have about a fifth one. All right, so we basically have 5 times 600, so the solution that we're looking for is 3,000 barrels of oil. For the second problem, we're asked to evaluate this definite integral right here. All right, so we know that a definite integral represents the area between the curve and the x-axis. Now the, uh, we're going to go from x equals 0, that's our low bound, to x equals 3, that's our upper bound. So we're interested in, for example, the area of this region. Let me drop a vertical down here. All right, so we want that region, for starters. We also want this region as well. All right, we can break that into two separate geometric figures, that's fine. But we have to go all the way to 3. All right? And we've got to be careful here because we see absolute value. So they threw a little trick at us. And the absolute value, we know, takes a function which is negative. And we are looking at the positive values. So this is actually the absolute value of f right there. So we're going to get rid of that. And we want this area as well. So we have a trapezoid and two triangles. Or if you prefer, we can go with a square and three triangles. Right? The square is one unit. We can see a one by one. And each triangle is a half. One by one. And we want half of that. So we have one, one and a half, two, two and a half. So we're looking for a total of two and a half. And that would be five halves.